of us, many Americans can't wait for Washington for the help they need, with growing food insecurity leading millions in recent months to turn to local food pantries to put dinner on the table. And in the shadows of the nation's capital, we wanted to shine a light on the organizations and volunteers helping to keep Americans fed. Nobody likes to ask for help to be able to put food on the table. The Capital Area Food Bank has seen skyrocketing demand over the last few months. We get food by the truckload, it comes into the food bank. So it could be pinto beans, it could be juice, it could be shelf-stable items. Now to put this in perspective, in the month of April we purchased about 100 truckloads of food. And that is about three times what we purchased in the entire last year. There are so many more people who are calling us on our hunger lifeline. And people start by almost apologizing, you know, before they find out where they need to go to get food. Often people are saying, I'm sorry I have to call. I'm sorry that I need to avail myself of the food that you're providing. started. Uh, the Washington Post had a great article detailing different ways to get involved around the district. And that made me think about the privilege that I have and how I can best use this time when a lot of people are struggling economically. We've got pinto beans, onions, uh, tons of different types of vegetables. I just retired right before COVID-19 broke and was looking for some way to give back and, uh, and help out. I suppose there is a certain stigma involved in uh, accepting aid, but uh, COVID-19 has changed that equation completely. We used to give out about 100 bags uh, at each location a day, and we are at about 1,000 a day now. April 1st is when we saw the line out the door because that was the first day people didn't get their paycheck. One thing that I do like about Martha's Table is that we, don't, we, we help people where they are. A lot of times people can have a job, go to school, have a career. The one thing that someone might have to sacrifice is putting food on their tables. They give you a bunch of canned fruit and pasta and jello. When COVID hit, I got laid off mid-March, so I had a lot of friends that are doctors and nurses and they're obviously helping out. And I was like, what can I do? I hope that this whole COVID-19 really opens people's eyes and to see that there are truly people out here who are hungry, who need food, who need help. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.